Hello everyone, here we are going to continue with exercise 12.2 of the chapter linear equation in one variable. We have already did till question number 18 in our previous video. Now let's do question number 19. In question number 19, we have half a herd of a deer are grazing in the field and three fourths of the remaining are playing nearby. The rest nine are drinking water from the pond. Find the number of deers in the herd. Let the number of deers in the herd be x and number of deers grazing be 1 upon 2x as it was half the number of deers. Then he is saying the number of deers playing nearby is 3 fourths of the remaining. So first of all we will be finding the remaining by subtracting this from this one. And here we get x minus 1 upon 2 into 3 fourths of that 3 upon 4. And on solving this we have got 3 upon 8x. Now he's saying the number of deers which are left now are drinking water in the pond and they are 9 in number and the rest years will be this minus the sum of these two. So according to question we have x minus 1 upon 2x plus 3 upon 8x equals to 9. That is this minus the sum of these two. Now we are going to solve it and we will be getting x minus 1 upon 2x minus 3 upon 8x equals to 9. We will take the LCM and on taking LCM it will be 8 then 8x minus 4x minus 3x equals to 9 and this will be 8 minus 4 that is 4 and minus 3 that is x upon 8 equals to 9 and this will be 9 into 8 that is x equals to 72. So there are 72 deers in the herd. So number of deers in the herd is 72 as answer. Now let's see question number 20. Here in question number 20 we have Sakshi takes some flowers in the basket and visits three temples one by one and C offers one half of the flowers from the basket. If C is left with six flowers at the end, how many flowers C was having in the basket? Now let the number of flowers C have in the beginning be X and now as C offers half of the flowers which C have in each temple. So in the very first temple C is offered half of this one that is 1 upon 2x in the first temple. Now in the second temple C have offered half the number of flowers now C have that is half into x minus this one. This is already offered this C was having in the beginning. So x minus this one into 1 by 2. So here on solving this we have got 1 upon 4x. So C has offered 1 upon 4x in the second temple. Now in the third temple, C is going to again offer half the C have. So first of all, we will be solving this one that is 1 upon 2x minus this one. Half of this is offered to in this temple too. So in the third temple, C has offered x upon 8 flowers. Now again, C is left with 6. So according to question, 1 upon 4x minus 1 upon 8x equals to 6. So on taking LCM, we get 8 and this will be 2x minus x equals to 6. And here x upon 8 equals to 6. So x equals to 6 into 8. That is x equals to 48 flowers as answer. Now let's move to question number 21. Here in question number 21 we have two supplementary angles differ by 50 degree. We have to find the measure of each angles. Now let the angles be x and x plus 50 as they differ by 50. Here we can also take x and x minus 50 because they will differ by 50 in that case also. Here we have taken plus so we can take this one too. Now as we know the supplementary angles have the sum of 180 degree. So the sum of these two will also be 180 degree. And here we get x plus x plus 50 equals to 180 and 2x will be equals to 180 minus 50 that is 2x equals to 130 degree. And here x will be equals to 130 upon 2. So x will be 65 degree. So angles are x equals to 65 degree and x plus 50 equals to 115 degree as answer. Now let's move to question number 22. Here in question number 22 we have if the angles of a triangle are in the ratio of 5 is to 6 is to 7. We have to find the angle. Now let the angles of a triangle be 5x, 6x and 7x. Now we know the sum of all entry angles of a triangle is 180 degree. Therefore the sum of these all will be 180 degree. 
So therefore, we have 5x plus 6x plus 7x equals to 180 degree as angles and property of triangle. Now the sum of all of this will be 18x equals to 180. So x will be equals to 180 upon 18. We cancel it out to get 10. So x equals to 10 degree. So the angles are 5x that is equals to 50 degree, 6x that is equals to 60 degree and 7x equals to 70 degree as answer. Now we'll be moving to question number 23. Here in question number 23, we have two equal sides of an isosceles triangle is 3x minus 1 and 2x plus 2 units. The third side is 2x units. Find x and the perimeter of the triangle. Now here in this question, we are having a triangle. We have suppose this one is ABC and we are having the two sides equal. Let this one be AB and AC. We have been given the equal sides are having the measure of 3x minus 1 and 2x plus 2. Now, as these two sides are equal, therefore, they can be equated. So, AB equals to AC, it has been given to us and we can place the value of AB as 3x minus 1 equals to AC that is 2x plus 2 and we will be solving for x and this will be 3x minus 2x equals to 2 plus 1. So, x is equals to 3. So, here we get the value of x as 3. Now we have to find the perimeter of a triangle and the perimeter of the triangle is sum of all the sides. Therefore, perimeter equals to AB plus BC plus CA and here we have AB equals to 3x minus 1 plus BC we are having 2x plus CA we are having 2x plus 2. Let's first of all solve it. So 3x plus 2x 5x and 5x plus 2x 7x plus the sum of these two is minus 1 and 2 and it will be plus 1 and then 7 into value of x we are having 3 so 7 into 3 plus 1 that is 21 plus 1 22 units as answer let's move to question number 24 here in question 24 we have if each side of a triangle is increased by 4 centimeter the ratio of the perimeters of the new triangle and the given triangle is 7 is to 5 find the perimeter of the given triangle now let the perimeter of the given triangle be x and the perimeter of new triangle equals to x plus 3 into 4 3 into 4 because all of the sides are increased by 4 and that's finally equals to x plus 12 now according to question the ratio of the new perimeter to the previous one is 7 is to 5. So we've got x plus 12 upon x equals to 7 upon 5. Now we'll be doing the cross multiplication and 5 into x plus 12 equals to 7 into x. Now solving this we get 5x plus 60 equals to 7x. Then on rearranging we get 7x minus 5x equals to 60. And 7 minus 5 will be 2x equals to 60. So x equals to 60 by 2 that is x equals to 30 centimeters as the perimeter of given triangle as answer. That's all for this video. Thank you.